ever vlog. We're at one of my favorite courses, Central Park in Georgia. Full one. Let's get it going. see if we got a putt. So I actually started playing disc golf in 2001. Uh, I took a 12 year break. I was definitely more recreational then. There was no YouTube, so I couldn't figure anything out. But um, now I take it more seriously. I'm sponsored by Kestrel Disc Golf. Kestrel disc golf. And uh, shout out to Kestrel. Thank you for the sponsorship, taking a chance on me. Um, but I am in a unique situation with CP. It is my physical therapy as well as my mental therapy, just like a lot of people. Um, but I definitely have a lot I gotta overcome. You know, it might be a one-handed sport on the outside, but on the inside, you gotta use your whole body. And uh, that is something I definitely have to work a little bit harder at. Let's see if we can nail this putt. Birdie. Played a lot of sports growing up. Started out with baseball, maybe pitched, wore the glove, held the glove in my right hand. Pitched with my left arm, would slide the glove back on before the ball would come back. Um, roller hockey, played recreationally. Basketball was my biggest sport, but that was mostly rec still. Yeah, I mean, disc golf to me was just a recreational activity at the time. You know, the, I didn't even know there were pros. And I uh, found Jovez in 2017, and that just kind of fueled my energy to want to play. Hills. That's all the course. I just teed off from about down here. Part four, way down there, coming through here. Popped out of the socket, club went into the ground, 
pulled my shoulder more into the ground and never swung a golf club again. Um, I had already been playing disc golf at that time. And uh, so yeah, courses like this just kind of remind me of playing ball golf. I love it. All right, let's see where this drive, first drive went when we're playing. All right. Oh, the destroyer's parked. Oh man. I got a tough look there, but that destroyer second shot was just absolutely laced. May have to play that in the tournament. Dang. Completely laced. The destroyer shot. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna putt this, these in. Infinite Discs Heat that I won off Infinite Discs uh, Facebook. It's the ESP Discraft Heat. That's what I threw there, and then I actually hit the butt with Discraft Focus. But um, yeah, I won this off of Infinite Discs. So shout out for this amazing ESP, ESP Heat. I just laced that drive here on 17 at Central for the birdie. So follow uh, Infinite Discs and definitely get your discs from. Woo! Oh, good. I just played two rounds at Central, that's 40 holes, and um, I shot even on the first round. I did most of my filming on the first round, and then the second round I shot two under, which is the best round I have shot at Central. Um, I think I got four birdies and two bogeys. Not mistaken, I'll go over my scorecard, but yeah, um, inside the circle putting was 100%. I'm not as good outside the circle right now because I haven't been working on that. I just want to make all my inside the circle putts because I think it makes you actually score better than missing inside the circle and making outside the circle putts. So I made all my inside the circle putts and hit most of the fairways. I really went 15 holes without a bogey and then I just, I bogey 15 and then um, 19 I think and got the first time I ever got the birdie on 20 to get me to two under so. Um, one thing I did want to say is about how much disc golf has changed my life. You know, a year ago I was still playing a lot and all the time, but um, I was an alcoholic. And uh, this year was the year I decided that I was going to really manage my drinking and, you know, treat it as a treat, have it, you know, uh, on my days off. Like after I just played, a, you know, I just hiked about eight to nine miles. This is a super hilly course, you know, throwing over 100 shots. Um, you know, I'll go home and have like one beer, two max, low ABV, you know, and that's it. I was drinking six beers every single day for like 10 years, basically. Maybe not that many, but yeah, four to six easily every day, sometimes on days off, like nine. So not healthy, um, but I was always out there active playing disc golf, but I really needed to change that. So this year, January 1st was like 
start working out and stop drinking. So I'm on a strict schedule now of weightlifting, whether it with bench pressing, uh, weights with my right arm, uh, and then crunches every day. I traded in a six pack of beer for a six pack of abs, and you know I go 150, 200, 250 some days. Um, I was really pushing it. I went up to 400 in one day. Um, and I did pull a muscle that day in my neck and I've been kind of working that out a little bit through disc golf, but I mean, it's just given me that mental and physical, you know, um, balance in my head, like to, to show myself that I can do things physically if I mentally prepare myself and then, you know, take it one step at a time. Um, you know, three years ago when I was playing, first starting out with disc golf and taking it seriously, you know, four years even prior to that. I was using a cane at times. I was in so much pain in my knees and my CP from working on my feet in, as a chef in jobs and I had fallen and I just was not, um, you know, active in the way that I was. I wasn't, you know, I was trying to do yoga but I wasn't interested. I couldn't keep that motivation going. So getting back into disc golf after 12 years really helped get me um, just completely back in shape and now I'm in the best shape of my life. Uh, and it's just, I mean, it's been a blessing. And, you know, if you're just starting out, just keep at it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Have a good one.